Common Good City Farm. Um, today I'm going to show you around our orchard um, and we wish you could be here too but we're happy to have you joining us for the DC virtual farm field trip and this is our orchard tour. Um, so an orchard is an area where fruit trees are planted. Um, here on the farm we have a lot of different fruit trees. We have peaches, pears, apples, persimmon, figs, cherries, and pawpaw trees. And I'm going to take you around and show you what the different ones look like. Our most recently planted tree is actually right here next to me. So it doesn't look like a tall tree yet, but this is our persimmon. So it takes a few years after a, a young tree like this is planted before it will make fruit. Um, but we're excited to have it. You can see that you can see the shape of the leaves are kind of like a long teardrop. Um, and then it has a pretty smooth bark, but with some speckles on it. Um, if you've never seen a persimmon fruit before, they're actually an orangish color. Um, they're kind of round and tomato shaped, um, and they have a really nice sweet taste. They kind of have a bit of flavor of honey, depending on the variety. Um, and they're really great in jams or jellies. So in a few years, we're excited to have persimmons to harvest um, and use for projects like that. The next tree that I want to show you is our fig tree, or one of our fig trees. It's right here next to me. As you can see, uh, it's a lot bigger than the persimmon tree, and that's just because it's been here on the farm for a lot longer. Uh, most of the trees in our orchard have been here since the farm started about 10 years ago. And so that uh, means they've had time to get big and they do produce fruit every summer. Um, so right now it is the end of May. Um, so our fruit trees have already gone through their flowering stages um, and a lot of them have started to produce fruit, but it's showing up as small fruit so far. I'm not sure if we'll spot any on the fig tree because the figs usually come a bit later in the summer. Um, but what you can see about this tree is that it has these really cool shaped leaves. It almost makes me think of something like you would see with pictures of dinosaurs or something. They're like bigger than my hand um, and they have a few different um, shapes. Um, some of them have bigger indents than others here. Some of them are a little more rounded, but they're all these nice big leaves and they just cover the whole area, provide a lot of shade. Um, figs themselves, are actually a pretty small fruit if you haven't seen them before. They grow just about like this big. Um, the figs in this tree uh, start out green and then they'll turn sort of shades of yellow and purple and that's how we know they're ripe. They have a really intense sweetness and the birds really love them too. So when we do have figs on the tree it's important to check that they're getting ripe and make sure we harvest them before the birds um, stick their beaks in there to eat them. Now I'm going to show you one of our um, really popular fruit trees that we have here on the farm. We have a couple peach trees. Um, so this is our peach tree. Um, you can recognize that it's a peach because it has these really long skinny leaves um, and it formed its flowers in the early spring and those flowers have already transitioned into little tiny baby peaches that you can see. So you can see that they are um, already fuzzy like you might be used to seeing peaches but they're small and green right now um, so as they keep developing they're gonna get a little more color um, they're gonna get bigger they're also rock hard right now and so when they're ready later this summer that's when they'll start to soften and be those ripe delicious peaches that are sweet and ready to eat um, these are definitely a really popular item at our farmers market um, you can also see along with the um, long skinny leaves it has a nice gray bark. It has a little bit of texture to it, um, but is still kind of smooth, um, but with little markings on it that go around the branches. So this next tree is a sour cherry. They are actually one of the trees that fruit first and get ripe earliest in the year. Um, like I said, right now it's the end of May and we're starting to see some of the cherries um, are growing starting to turn red on this tree right here. Um, this is a tart cherry, which means that the flavor is very sour, um, but you can definitely cook with it, add sugar, make delicious jams, and I actually like the tart cherry flavor just fresh off the tree. I think they taste really good. 
um, but they are smaller than what you might traditionally see at the grocery store, a sweet cherry. Um, if you look closely, you can see that these also, like the peach, they have a bit of a long skinny leaf, but they get a little bit wider as you go further into the tree, and they have a nice shiny dark green color, a lot darker green than the peach leaves. Um, the cherries themselves, as you'll see, um, they hang down, and if you've ever seen like a drawing of cherries, a lot of times they come in like a pair. You will see that that is how they grow on the tree. There's little um, pairings of cherries throughout where two stems come down together, um, and those will turn right, red and ripen. Um, and even the flowers early this spring, the flowers grow right there where the fruit is. So you can see the, the formation of the cherry stems um, very early on. I'm standing here now kind of under a lot of trees, but we're gonna look at this one right here next to me. This is one of our apple trees. Um, and so the apple uh, tree has uh, a rounder, but still pointy green leaf. And the leaves sometimes get a little bit more of a whitish uh, fuzziness to them, but dark green on the other side. Um, and the bark is pretty smooth on the branches, but is a little bit rougher if you look back at the trunk. Now apples don't really ripen um, until very late summer, early fall. Definitely people think of them as a late fall um, crop, um, but they do start to grow as tiny little apples even now. So if you look closely up here, you will see the start of one of our apples. It kind of has a pointy end at the moment, but as it gets bigger, that uh, pointy part will just sort of absorb into the round apple and these will be round green apples like you're used to seeing um, at the grocery store. Right now I'm standing next to our pear tree. This is actually an Asian pear variety. They're a lot more round um, and sweet, um, a little bit more crisp than a regular soft pear. Um, but you can see they have a really glossy, really nice like teardrop shaped leaf and it has these little ridges on the edge that make it look a little different than some of the other ones we've looked at. Um, and you can see this branch is already loaded down with pears. Um, so they're really small right now. They won't be ready for several more months, but they're already growing. Um, and I actually really love Asian pears. I, they taste almost like the combination of a pear and an apple. And every year we turn them into um, different kinds of jams and like apple butter made with pears. Um, and it's, it's really delicious. Mm -hmm. um, right behind me is the next and um, final tree we're gonna talk about. Um, this is our pawpaw tree. So a lot of people have never heard of a pawpaw before. Um, it's spelled P-A-W, P-A-W, and pawpaws are a fruit that actually, when they grow, they look like a small mango, but they stay green on the outside, and they're yellow inside when they're ripe, but they have these really big seeds. Um, people describe the flavor a lot as like a combination between um, banana and mango, um, or there's a lot of different ways I've heard people describe it. And some people love it, some people think it tastes kind of weird. Um, but we really enjoy that we have some pawpaw trees here on the farm um, because it's something that's not as common. Um, and you don't really find them in the grocery store because they are a really soft fruit when they're ripe and they have those big seeds. So it's hard for people uh, like in industries to process them and ship them. Um, so you actually have to be able to like know where your local pawpaw tree is if you wanna try the fruit or get them at uh, the right kind of farmer's market. Um, the, these, this tree already has some pawpaws started, but they're just so tiny right now. You can see right where my hand is. They're just really little, like, they look, I don't even know what they look like, but um, you can see that they've started to grow and they'll be ready when they're about the size of a small mango. Um, these have, the pawpaw tree has really long leaves and they hang down. Um, you can see if you look at the whole tree, how, how much they hang downward. Um, and the branches are pretty thin and a light gray color, um, but with lots of little bumps. Uh, a really cool thing that unfortunately we can't see because they've already bloomed for the year, but the pawpaw flower also hangs down the way the leaves do, and it's a really deep magenta brown color, really different than other spring flowers that you see. So that's always fun. 
So these are our fruit trees here at Common Good. We love having fruits um, as something to include with vegetables at our market with our CSA boxes. Um, fruits are a really great part of your diet. They're really tasty and they also have a lot of different nutrients um, that can be good for you. A good way to have a sweet dessert is to have some fresh fruit, um, a very healthy way to get some sugar. And um, we're excited that all of our trees are growing and that you could come check them out with us.